All right, the scary thing is that a lot of boats are coming through here. A lot. I'm afraid that they might end up taking my line. Nope. That's a shark. That's a shark. What is going on everybody? Here we are at Sabine Pass Battleground Park. We got the gear, we got the baits, brand new spot, and hopefully we can catch some big fish. We're gonna fish the entire channel from the park and we'll probably end up at Walter Humphrey at one point. Hopefully we catch some big fish. I'm gonna go right there, buddies. I'm gonna take my kids right here, this little cove area by the boat ramp, so hopefully we can try to catch some baits. Off camera, we managed to cast net all this shad right here. This is perfect bait for slot reds and bull reds. So we're gonna use that in a little while. Nice shad right here, perfect, perfect bait. And we got a nice finger mullet there too. And my, my son has one on his hand, so. I want some big mullet because I wanna fly out a big bait in the middle of this channel, see what happens. But we're gonna try to cast it so we catch some big mullet. All right, so these are the reels that I'm gonna be using today. We're gonna cast them out into the channel. This is gonna be the Okuma Rockway. This is a 6,000 size. The Okuma Flight, brand new reel. We haven't used it. We haven't caught a big fish on it yet. Here we go, check it out, y'all. 20 pound mono. Here we got the Surf 8K Elite Reels right here. Check them out, y'all. This is what we're gonna be using and hopefully we can land some big fish. The Rockaway 6000 is on the Rockaway HD. The flight is on the Okuma Solar Surf. This is the 11 foot rated three to eight ounces. And then the Surf 8K is on a 12 foot Okuma Rockaway HD. This is six to 16 ounces right here, a pound. So here we are at Sabine Pass. Check it out, this is gonna be our camper right here. This is our Clipper 12 TD Max. We can fit four people in here, two adults, two kids. Comfortably, a little tight, but it's still comfortable. And look how small it looks compared to a fifth wheel here. This thing is giant. This place here, I think they just opened it up this uh, this year and there hasn't been a lot of campers out here. There's only three of us here today. And I think this is actually uh, staff that work here. But it's pretty big, a lot, a lot of space, a lot of space. My kids can just run around. We've got the e-bikes here that we like to travel around the campgrounds. We got the channel right there. Huge vessels just passing through. And the awesome thing about here is that it's empty and there are no people out here fishing right now. Sick. All right, guys, so here we are. We're casting out a lure now and there's a bunch of finger bullet right in front of me. Check it out guys, it's a sand trap. This is great bait right here. Oh, look at that, look at this red. Big red, big red. Big old red right here in front of us. Big old red. Big old red. It's like just swimming right there. All right, we got a. Uh, I'm running low on leaders here. Third Coast Fish needs to stock me up before I go to the competitor. <laughs> what I do now? I'm gonna cut some mullet here. This super frozen mullet. Well, actually, you know what? I got that sand trap. Yeah, let me use the sand trap instead. This is super fresh. Look at that. It's gonna cast this out. Nice sand trout. Check it out, y'all. Just caught it. The thing about sand trout is that it's extremely soft. So with sand trout, I like to just hook them right here through the head. Through the, right here. Really soft. There we go. That's it. We're gonna cast it on the Kuma Flight. Fresh, bleeding. This is perfect. Exactly what we need to catch a big fish on the sand trout. Let's do it. Cast it out. Mm. 
Nice. Perfect. Guys, yeah, so here we go. We got our massive bait. Check it out. Huge bait right here. This is a giant bait. We have a one ounce weight too here. So this we're gonna fly out about two or three pounds right here. And hopefully we can catch a giant. Aircraft unlocked. So we're good now. Let's fly this into the channel. Hopefully something big happens. Big old fish. Ugh. Big ass red. Whew. How does this even happen? <laughs> On this reel. Oh. Came off. All right, the scary thing is that a lot of boats are coming through here. A lot. I'm afraid that they might end up taking my line. So I can't get very far. <laughs> Max 100 yards. But that's still a pretty good amount of distance right here. We got these giant mullets right here. And we're gonna, how much should we use? Yeah, like this much. Big old bait. Big old bait. Let's drop the first bait up, hopefully. We don't get hit by a boat. Throw a big bait out right now too. Nope. That's a shark. That's a shark. That's a shark right there. Yep, that's a shark. It felt like something. Oh, here it is, coming close, fine. Towards me. I don't know, I think it dropped it. I don't know. I don't think so. We'll see. Yeah, it's still on. Feels kind of funky. Feels kind of funky. Feels lazy. Oh, there's a fish on there. A red? <laughs> that's funny, because that's not what I'm fishing for. Big shark. You guys got a net? Yeah. Hey, Keith, let me throw your net. Hey, 
Too much. Too much pound? Too yeah. Much? Well, you might be able to lift them up and get too much pound. Well, I don't want to get to... Actually, maybe. Oh, I can get it up. I got it right here. Oh, there you go. Wow. That's a bigger red than I ever caught. <laughs> well, I yeah. I can't say that because uh, I caught a red and I gave it to Debbie. Debbie, remember that photo I showed you? Mm -hmm. It was 36 inches long. There, right there, I'm looking at it. That's probably going to be right about 32. Probably. 34, 35, I think. It's a, it's okay size. Let me uh, take a picture of it and let it go. That's crazy. I, I, this is a whole this overkill. What is it? 30, uh, 36, right? I mean, uh, what, what's the limit? 2028. 20, oh, is it? Yeah. Oh, no, wait a minute. Isn't it up to 28? Then after that's 36 or 40. If you got a tag. Oh, you ain't got a tag? Nah, I'm going to let it go. It's oh, too big. Here, <laughs> stand by your fish, man. It's this way I go ahead and. 34? Thirty-five. Almost thirty-five. Whoa. 35. Whoa. Hold on. Was that somebody's line that just went in the in the water? Hey, was that a combo that just flew in? What? Went in the water? Yeah, your rod just flew right in. Oh, you can't even <laughs> Man, sorry guys. Wow. Dude, I, it just went like like a slingshot. <laughs> <laughs> oh man, that sucks. <laughs> All right, I got some the over the overkill setup. Pick it up, Hilla. Hey, Sandy, that's for breakfast, Mom. Yeah. The reason I say this is overkill because look what I just caught it on. Overkill city right here. You can actually, if you wanted to, you don't care about laws. You can yak out this entire river like that with a two pound weight. I'm just kidding, don't do that. Oh, you want to see if it's longer than you? No, you're longer than it. Cecil's turn. All right, Cecil. Scoot a little bit further in, bud. Closer, Cecil. Oh. No. Mm-hmm. I think you're about the same size. It's big. You got a tag? Why, you want to keep it? Nah, not really. 35 inches. <laughs> Back up so you can move this on. Did you catch it on? You see, me? You want to put it back if you're going to? Yeah, I'm about to. You think it's got a nice bull red here. It's about 35 inches, small. We could tag this. This is the biggest size that I would tag, but I don't have a tag. Check it out. A view, no full red on the overkill. The Makara 10. We just really didn't like nothing. didn't even fight. Check it out, y'all. All right, let's let it go. <laughs> Pool of energy. Alright, so guys, right now, that guy was measuring my fish, and at the corner of my eye, I see his rod just take off, and it went right in the water while, he, while the guy was trying to help me. And the, the kid right there, he was just like, "Oh no, what happened?" <laughs> they had a big fish on there because if it was like a gaff top or a hard head. It wouldn't do that, but they had that that, that drag a little too tight, and then as soon as it took off, combo when we when did it. So it sucks. But anyways. That's why you would adjust your drag accordingly when you're bait fishing. All right, don't tighten it. Give it a little slack. Use like two, if you can use like two pounds to pull on the line, it's a little resistance. That's all you need. Don't tighten it all unless you got it really well secured. All right, guys. So I'm gonna go inside and take a nap, man. It's really hot out here. It's already 11 in the morning. We've been fishing since seven. Unfortunately, we only got one fish. 
hopefully it'll pick up later on it's getting really hot i'm running low on bait too so after i wake up i'm gonna go ahead and try to cast net some of these little creeks out here and hopefully we can get some big baits for tonight because i'm pretty sure there's some monsters in there we're just not getting to them but hopefully we can get into that jackpot of i know there's some big bull sharks in here i know for sure for a fact there's some big fish in there so let's go ahead and take a break and then we'll head back in later we're gonna start fishing for the evening we're gonna get the lively cart we're gonna roll over across the pasture and go to this middle section right here a lot of snags on that side of the place so we're gonna go straight out here see what happens hopefully our luck changes maybe there aren't that many snags over here so hopefully that's true a beautiful evening one of the things i love about this park is that hardly anybody ever comes here i love it look at that nobody's here so we're going to utilize this entire park to fish Finger mullet. Let's send it out. Nice little mullet here. We're going to send it out. I will send this one out. Hopefully, we catch something with it. Lively mullet, too. We're going to have to cast that far with this one. It's like 50 yard cast. See what happens. perfect that's where we want it right there I always like how this rockaway casts I got a big sand trout here I'm gonna cast this one out too this is gonna be a nice bait right here oh yeah soft I don't like when they're soft like this but that's okay this here eats big fish I love using sand trout for bait Every time that I use a sand drop or bait, I catch a big fish. So hopefully this is what's going to happen. Yo, Puma 8K. All right, so we got all three rods out. We got the rock wave right here. We cast out like 40 yards into the channel. We got a piece of live mullet on here. We flew out the Surf 8K 160 yards into the channel. We put the biggest sand trap we caught last night on it. And then we got the flight on a nice piece of sand trout hooked through the head and through the body hopefully that one's gonna get hit right here that one's like 90 yards into the channel so we're pretty spread out so when i like to fish channels the thing that i do is i don't just you know a lot of people will just cast i like to fish it strategically which means that i will fi i will fish close to it i'll fish further and then i'll fish into the middle of the channel all right so we spread out our lines and this is the same way that i do in a surf when you're surf fishing you like to cast into the wade gut the first gut second behind the bars and we do we fish that way when we're fishing channels as well hopefully that's gonna catch some big fish i think this got picked up i think it got picked up You're that or just getting dragged by current. Ah, oh, it's a gaff top. <laughs> it just felt like a lot because of current. Look at that. Huh? CCA gaff top right here. <laughs> 